Nellie Corder, I am just going to say you are simply awesome. Thank you. <laughs> How much fun? I mean, you're in the zone today. You had so many short putts. You left a few out there, but how much fun is it when you know you got done a string? Yeah, I mean, a couple of the putts were definitely frustrating. I think I had a couple inside 10 feet that I missed, and, um, you know, I just gave myself so many opportunities today, and I got to capitalize on a lot of them. I wondered what you were going to do on 16. You left yourself quite a way away when you came up a little shy, and we thought this will be a new area for Nellie. Yeah, I was very disappointed with that pitch shot, but uh, all three of us kind of came up short. It was, I think it was, it was very grainy in the fairway, so um, my, caught, my club got caught there. Your ball striking is nearly faultless. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, you really are quite stunning to watch. And, and I mean, where's the improvement going to come? Is there any improvement? Because you look like you're playing at such a level at the moment. It, it's just extraordinary to watch. I think just consistency throughout the year is definitely something that I've improved on from last year. But, you know, I think I can continuously improve on every part of my game. And that's just what my coach and I are striving to do. Okay, now going in tomorrow, I think you've probably got a little issue because uh, you're playing with Carolyn Masson, who is the uh, fiancé of your caddy. You might have to control that a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to tell him that at the end of the day I'm signing his paycheck. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. No, we're all really good friends. I like her a lot, so it's going to be fun. Well, we're so looking forward to it. And, and look, it's going to be a fantastic day and good luck to you. Thank you. <laughs> Well, Nellie Corder catching up with Sandy McKenzie. And watch out for the rest of the field. She says there's still room for improvement. Whoa, it's going to be hard to beat this round. Let's have a look at some of her highlights. Here she was on the second hole, rolling in a good birdie. And just steady, really, managed to take advantage of uh, a couple of the par fives out there today. In fact, she didn't have a five on the card the entire round. Hit the green in two there at the six and two-parted for the lead at that point in time. That's when she started pressing on. This at the eighth, it was a difficult lie. Ball sitting down in the rough, so I had to pop it up in the air and let it trickle down towards the hole. She would go on to make birdie, so three under through eight. And then I had a couple of pars, you know, just cruised her way down to the 12th. This was an eagle putt. Hit the green in two. But again, making light work of the longer holes. And what a tee shot on 14 from Nelly. There's a beautiful rhythm to her swing. Yeah, beauty. And that's a fine example of it. Jason McDeed saying it was a beauty. It certainly was. And it was a two that was written down on the scorecard through 14 holes, and there were more birdies to come. There were, and you know what, you, you have to talk about the tempo of, of Nellie Corder. It, in my opinion, it's the best in the game, maybe men's or women's. She has a beautiful takeaway that just sinks up her entire swing, and that is why she's number one in ball striking in the LPGA, and that converted for another birdie there at 17. So a player who is brimful of confidence had this opportunity at the 18th and took full advantage of it. A 65 from the defending champion looking to go back to back in Taiwan and going about her business very well indeed, Nelly Korda.